Because recently you were in the news for something pretty... Because you predicted... Oh, yeah, yes. ...that WhatsApp would collapse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I did. I did. How, I did. how wow. did you manage to do that? Basically, it was Diwali. And then there was this thing about Rishi Sunak is going to be PM. And I tweeted, heads up, if a billion Indians get Diwali and an Indian PM on the same day, WhatsApp will break. <laughs> and the next day it broke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really think it's rocket science. <laughs> Nailed it. I mean, okay. because... Yeah, there you go. Great. I mean, because it's, it's not rocket science. If you're Indian and you are on a family and you have different family WhatsApp groups, my smallest family WhatsApp group is 43 people, okay? Smallest, <laughs> right? And the other thing is, you know, when they're all at home with me, they're all shouting and talking over each other, they do the same on WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, ping, 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 ping. They're all, you know, and, oh, blah, blah, blah. what did you say? No, you shut up. It's like this the whole time. <laughs> and I thought Diwali is a big deal to us, you know? And then Rishi Sunak becomes PM, like, hello. Yeah. So I thought it's gonna break. I don't think, people are like, how did you prophesize that? Give me the lottery numbers. <laughs> and I was like, what? I'm, you know, this is, it's actually scientific. <laughs> yeah, it's not scientific.